results for you. Thank you so much for attending the ABC HR conference. And as Ken and I were talking, a lot of times you'll attend an event like that. You only get 90 minutes. You might get inspired and energized, but then you go back to the office and you have reality hit you and you're not able to apply what you learn. So Ken, what can you tell our attendees? Like what is one of the big things, the big one thing that they should really think about applying to get movement on what you talked about at the event last week? Oh, I would love to, Don, and I really like how you frame that, because as I left our session uh, last week, I had this feeling like it was incomplete. You know, I have 90 minutes, and typically around that 60-minute mark is where the juices start flowing, and then you're done in 30 minutes. And so uh, I think it's uh, appropriate, but also, too, a great way to get a return on those people's time who attended the conference last week um, with a follow-up communication here. And so when I say incomplete, Here's the takeaway I would like people to be thinking about, and it was teed up but never finished. I want everyone to think about when it comes to knowledge transfer, question number one, where are my risks? And I thought when we were, I had some time to reflect on that in our own businesses, I thought uh, the couple of guys from a, from a same company spoke up during that segment and said, boy, in the next couple of years, we're going to lose 100 years of experience to retirement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think about that. However, I don't know if we think about that enough and then come up with a plan and be very intentional about that. And so I want everyone to kind of finish those thoughts and jot some things down on paper. Where are my risks? Where are the retirements in our organization? How far out? What do we need to do to have a plan to transfer that knowledge? Maybe where are my risks? I don't have bench depth. Ooh, what if something comes up? Someone gets ill and is out for a long duration. Someone leaves the company. Today, both spouses are working. What if my spouse gets um, a promotion and we have to move geographically? Mm -hmm. I mean, all those kinds of things. And then the last thing about risks, too, I would want people thinking about is, what type of training and knowledge transfer do I need to do to protect the company when it comes to quality control, safety, or even cl potential claims to the company that can really attack that after-tax profit? And so it, to complete all that too, and I mentioned this at the conference, think about internally, who are your subject matter experts? Who could I pair up to help with this knowledge transfer? transfer? Um, what about outsourcing coaching? Hello. <laughs> could I have an external resource that could help us map this plan and be intentional and hold us accountable so that we, we do what we say we're going to do and we protect ourselves with these resources? Lastly, I'd ask people to think about turning your job sites into classrooms. We talked about video learning. But if you had a library of YouTube videos, and I don't want all those seasoned veterans out there to think, now I gotta, now I gotta create videos. Give it to your new people who would be more than willing to take the video and post it and, and, and help build this library within your companies. And so that's kind of a summary of where I'd like people to go. Remember, you gotta be highly intentional and have a plan, just like we have plans with our projects in construction. Then after that, once it's mapped out and you've got this direction here, the success now comes in the daily habits and the discipline to turn the ideas into action. And so that would be my summary, Don, for, for takeaway. Excellent. And I think that's a huge opportunity for those of you who attended. Really thinking about writing out those risks that are there. Uh, as Ken pointed out, the, a couple of the attendees said uh, that we're all from the same organization. They were going to be losing 100 years of experience. Well, how can you plan out for that? Well, one step is to become aware of what those blind spots might be in terms of risk. And then go to our website, go to our YouTube channel, uh, reach out to us with questions and, and connect with us because we can help you understand how you can implement that knowledge transfer through your organization and make it part of your organizational culture. So those blind spots are no longer blind spots, but they become strengths. So thank you again so much for attending. If you have questions, make sure to check out our website, resultsforyoullc.com. It's the number four, as well as our YouTube channel. We'd love to answer any questions you have. Be here as a resource for you. And here is to your success.